Sziasztok, mindenkinek. Willy Vajok. I'm from New York. I'm a historian, a poet, a videographer, a photographer, a jack of all trades, and a master of some. And I live in a place called Hungary, a.k.a. Magyar Orszak. I've lived in a lot of places. I've lived in Cape Town, South Africa, Sydney, Australia, New York, of course, London, and even Sarajevo. But Hungary, there was something about it that just drew me in, grabbed me by the neck, and it's never let go. I've lived here in Budapest for three years now. And it's in Budapest that I first fell in love with Hungary. I fell in love with the Danube, the Duna, the blue-green serpent which splits our city in two and ties it back together once more. I fell in love with her bridges and their names. Sabacag, Lanseed, Erzsbet, Margit, Petufi, and beyond. I've learned to love Buddha its old ancient steps and hilly terrain, watching sunsets which go on forever. Oh, Budapest, how I love you. City of dreams, city of pure delights, city of inspiration. But first I knew Pest, with its grand market halls and a life which is led so dynamic. They actually used to be two separate cities. Three, if you count the ancient Roman ruins of O Buddha, AKA Old Buddha, smashed together in 1873 to become what we know and love today as Budapest. Budapest is ancient. Budapest is new. Budapest is modern. Budapest, it's you. It's street art, graffiti, buildings, architectural marbles. It's bathhouses, churches, and making new friends. Budapest is a city to fall madly in love. But Hungary is not just Budapest, it's so much more. Hungary is a country, a world in its own, a land, Magyar Orszak. And it's my adventures outside of the capital where I've truly learned to fall in love with the Hungarian lifestyle and the Hungarian way of life. Whether it's summers at Lake Balaton, canoe trips down the Tisza, or romantic adventures atop mountains and hills, Hungary speaks to me on so many different levels. Hungary is a hospitable place. It's a place where food and culture and warmth and togetherness are treated as the currency of the world. Hungary is goulash and bogratch and sizzle and grease. It's tarcha and langosh and summertime feasts. It's endless expanses of beautiful plains and castles that crumble with stories of forgotten times. It's paths through the pilish and dunaside towns. It's the pastel walls of Chopron scaring away winter in Mohach, and the white wines of Tokai, whose landscape astounds. It's the Basilica of Estergom, the Komoromi Forts, the vineyards of Vilan, and old ancient lore, its colors and concerts, and oh so much more. Hungary may very well be a landlocked nation, but Hungary is a country of water. Hungary is at the heart of Europe, both literally due to its geography and figuratively, a connecting fiber between east and west, between old and new, between big and small. Hungary is a painting, a poem, a song. It's ecstasy and agony and everything in between. It's an artist's dream. My name is Willie Gevertz. I'm 29 years old. I live in Budapest. But Hungary is my home.